G'day guys, I'm going cray fishing again today at a different spot to last time but on the same river. I am much further downstream than I was last time at a spot pointed out to me by one of my subscribers named Chris and he'll actually be joining me a bit later as well so let's hope between us we can catch some crayfish. Righto, I've done something totally unexpected for myself and that is come prepared. All my nets are baited and ready to be thrown in. So rather than bait one and throw it in and then stuff around for five minutes and bait the next one and throw that in, they will be going in in pretty rapid succession which will make the first check of the nets much more uniform and easy. I've tied the first one to this big tree here and it'll go straight out there. Now the current's going right to left as you can probably see by the rope drifting off. My hope is to not get it tangled in the roots of these trees that are in the edge of the water. And a similar situation for net number two. I don't think those will have very intrusive roots but that one over there might so I'll try and throw in that general direction. And I hope it doesn't settle too close to that tree. Ugh. And similarly with the third net, I'll be avoiding that tree and that one. Hopefully it'll land out there somewhere. And hopefully the right way up, not upside down. Pretty good, that'll do me. Well, the first net is right here in front of me. The second one I threw in is about 20 metres in that direction, tied to that gum tree at the water's edge. And the third one's about 15 metres in that direction, tied to that skinny tree at the water's edge. Uh, much more spread out than last time which is good because I want to try and capture as much of this area as I can. And it's about 10 a.m. now, so I'll come back at 10.30 and see if I've got any crays. Righto, oh, it's been half an hour and it's time for the first check of the nets. And Chris has arrived, he's up the bank baiting his own nets, so he'll be down shortly to throw his in. What's in the first one here? Absolutely nothing. All right, that's all right. Early days, we'll get it back out there. I think the nets are far enough apart that I don't have to keep them out, I can just toss it back in. All right, net number two, treat me better than net number one. Oh no, oh, it's, I was snagged, but I got it off. It's still intact, there's something in it, but it's not a crayfish. It's a heap of mud. Bugger. Not the best start so far. Oh, my net's come apart as well. Uh, I'll leave it out. I'll go check net number three and I'll come back and repair that. Alright. Be good to me, net number three. Come on. Oh, and that one's snagged as well. You mongrel. Come on. Come on. Yes, got it loose, and there we go, I'm getting snagged on the mud bank, alright, well there's definitely no craze in that mud, clean it up, get it back out, check this on first, this is actually net number three in the order I threw them out at the start, and I'm on that mud bank again, bloody hell, and we got nothing again, hmm, How far out do you reckon I should throw it, Chris? Just in line with that tree. Over in line with that tree? I'll try and go near the tree, right next to it. Yeah. About there. There's still a bit of depth there. There is, yeah. This is the one I hoisted out there before, so <laughs> it could be stuck on anything, this one. That could be. Oh, come on. Yep, it is. This might be the first casualty of the day, guys. I might not be able to get this one back. <coughs> oh, that's broken. Let's go up and check the third one. I hope I've got a bit better luck. Because I'm down to two nets. Well, that was tangled, so... What a day. And um, we'll try again. Oh, 
stay. All right, I'll follow Chris. He's gonna check his two nets and he's gonna save this trip. He's gonna catch a big crayfish in this pool. No. no. All right, up to the other end. Someone needs to mow the lawn, Chris. They need to, don't they? It's a bit long. You got that one in a pearler of a spot. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yes, first cray of the day. Yeah, He's gonna get out through the hole. There yeah. we go. Almost letting himself go. Do you want a tape measure to, just out of curiosity? I think it's a bit too small. Yeah, I think he might be undersized, that one. Yeah, he might be. <laughs> He's a cute little guy. <laughs> Brilliant. First cray of the day. See you, buddy. All right, well, you've got a good spot up here. At least we're getting something now. Yeah. They're coming on the chew. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've had pretty terrible luck all day, but it's going to change right now. Let's hope, eh? Oh, it's heavy, and it's going to get caught on that log. You right? Yep. Oh, you're a legend. Uh, it's my luck today. It's just going to keep happening, I think. Wow. Oh, it's a big one. Yeah, he's not bad at all. Yeah. Don't let him get out. Here you can... Oh, yep. He's hissing away. No oh, it's looking good, looking good. Could be legal. Could be. Yeah, but... Ah, nice work. All right. From about there, yeah? Yep. What's that say to the eye socket? Can you see that? No. Neither can I. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'll come over there so I can get a better angle on him. Oh, that's, yeah, this will be easier. All right. And there. Oh, look at that, Chris. That is, I'd say 105, would you? Yep. There you go, congratulations, that's a feed. You can take him home for you. Huh? You can take that one home. Me? Yep. Why? So you you caught him. Oh, are you sure? Very sure. Oh, thanks man. I'll hold him down here for you. Yeah. There you go. Oh, you bloody ripper. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to get to try some crayfish thanks to Chris. You bloody legend. Thanks mate. It's made my day a bit better. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. All right. I'll try not to slip over getting back. Well, I moved one of my nets over here where I was getting all those bites on the corn. So let's see if I can get a cray in the net finally. Oh, at least I'm not snagged this time. Oh, yes. Got one. <laughs> I'm still snagged, though. <laughs> He's going to get away at this rate. Hey! My first cray for the day. Is that all? Is that all? There you go. Tiny little, it's probably the size of a decent size yabby, that one. Absolutely tiny for a crayfish. But he'll be just going back in the drink. You ate all my corn before, didn't ya? <laughs> See ya, <it>, buddy. <laughs> My luck has been absolutely horrid with this net today, but I'm not even going to jinx it. I'm just going to pull it in. Oh, look at the shape of it. What on earth? I'm moving this net. This is a terrible spot. <laughs> look at that. What happened there? I don't know. Yeah, I'm moving this one up the other end where we're catching crays. We're not catching anything down here anyway. They're all up that end. Uh oh, you might not be moving it. Oh, you got it? Yep. Is there anything in it is the question. Nothing. Yes, there's bait in it. <laughs> <laughs> so Chris is going to throw his out here instead because we didn't like it up the other end. There was too many weeds and snags. Chris is going there next to the tree and I'm going to find a spot up here somewhere. All right, a magic net of action. Have we got three crays in three pools? 
That's the smallest one so far. That is. Oh, see you buddy. <laughs> he couldn't even catch him on the way down. <laughs> I might put that in slow motion. <laughs> That'll look pretty cool. All right, this is the net I caught the little cray in just before. Let's see if I can get another one out of it. Nope. What is it with me snagging this net? There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, my day of bad luck continues. <laughs> Check my net. Come on. Oh no. Oh, not again. It's been a day of snags. I've got it back. I doubt there'll be anything in it because it's going to be bent. Oh! Snagged and warped and I've still got a crayfish. Got one? Yeah. He's a bit tangled in the tail so... Let go. If I go like that he'll let go. Oh Willie. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. <laughs> yeah, he's way too small. I put him about eight, eight centimeters from there to there. You know what I mean by there to there, don't you, Chris? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope the viewers do, because uh, from the back of the eye to the tail, 75 to 80, way too small. Cute little guy, though. Definitely no eggs or anything, but uh, yeah, undersized, definitely not a keeper. Thanks for getting stuck in the net, mate. You're my number two cray for the day. See you, bud. All right, we're gonna go check the money net. Going for four crayfish from four lifts on this net. Can we do it? Or can Chris do it, I should say? No. no. It's had its first non-crayfish pull of the day. Is that meat's getting mangled, isn't it? <laughs> few out there, we just might have timed that one wrong. That's yeah. alright. Hey, I wasn't snagged. Yeah. I wasn't catching either. But I wasn't snagged. No. <laughs> that's, that's a nice change. Yep. Little one. Hey fella, another little tucker. He's a contender for the smallest one today. <laughs> <laughs> Cute little guy. He'll go out here and straight into your net, mate. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you, buddy. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> Boy, he did tell he went straight towards it. <laughs> so the next time Chris pulls this net up, that little cray's probably going to be in there. <laughs> so all day we've been starting up the other end with our checks. We're starting up this end this time. We're checking the money net first. Uh, it's not the money net anymore. Either. Nothing, they've gone quiet. They yep, another little one. <laughs> oh, he's maybe a bit bigger than the last one. You gonna get through? I think he is. Think thin. <laughs> I think thin, mate. You can do it. You got one claw left. There we go. Took a bit of dog food as a souvenir. There we go. A bit bigger than the last one, but still well under size. See ya, buddy. And they're still around at least. <clears throat> Just not as frequent as we would like. Alright, this will be our last check of the nets for today. We'll start up this end with my net. Come on, there we go. Uh, nothing in that one. Leave that there, we'll go to the next one. 
No, no more for me. Let's go check Chris's nets. No, they have all gone to bed, I think. They fall in. No, no more crays. They're all gone to sleep. They have. Well, it wasn't a day with loads of crays, but it was a day with crays, including this keeper, thanks to my mate Chris, he handed that over for me to go and take home. This will be the first crayfish, the first Murray Cray I've ever eaten. So, he looks delicious. I can't wait. <laughs> if you liked the video, give it a claws up. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>